All right, hey, welcome everybody to another Paint the Edge Up. We're going to teach you to make a cool painting in about an hour and get a little drunk doing it. My name is Joel, and today we're going to be painting this right here, okay? In the honor of Thanksgiving, uh, we're painting the great turkey um, that uh, uh, united the pilgrims with Native Americans. Uh, it's history. We all know that story. Uh, so, um, that's what we're painting today. I'll tell you what we need for this uh, painting real quick. Um, First, like I do with all my painting classes, I'm going to give away a free giveaway painting. All I have to do is correctly answer my completely subjective trivia question first in the comments, and you will win a free giveaway painting, okay? Um, also, if you haven't already, like, share, follow, subscribe, search Paint the Edge Off, follow me and all that stuff. Much appreciated. And with that being said, this is what you're going to need for this painting. You will need a 16 by 20 canvas. Okay, any kind of canvas works. That's what I'm using. Um, I've also got paper towels which are good for, you know, whoopsie doodles. I've also got um, my water cup. All right, I've also got four brushes here in my water cup. I've got my big flat brush. I have my medium flat brush. I have my medium round brush and my little baby round brush, okay? Those are my four brushes. I'm gonna leave them bristled down in my water cup uh, till we are ready to use them so they stay nice and quiet, okay? Then I've got some paper plates here that I'm gonna use for my palette. You can use whatever you want. You know, um, anything you want. Uh, paper plates just easy for me, okay? So, we've got a blow dryer. Okay, that helps uh, dry fast so I can move through this painting quickly. I've also got some tools here. I've got uh, a piece of blue chalk, a piece, piece of yellow chalk, and that's just so you can draw on your uh, dried painting layers and do a little sketching on there, and it, that comes right off too. So, that's a good thing to kind of sketch on your paint layers. I've got a pencil, okay? Uh, I've got a little needed eraser in case I need to erase something I draw with my pencil. And I've got a Sharpie that I'm going to use just so you guys can see this on the screen. You probably don't really need that, but that's what I've got. I've got whiskey, all right? And then I've got white. I've got black paint. I've got light yellow paint. I've got a bright red paint. I've got a thalo blue, burnt umber, and raw sienna. Okay, so those are my colors that I'm going to use for this painting today. And yeah, with that, let's, uh, you know, go ahead and uh, paint the old edge off there. Okay. Whew. Okay, with that, let's get the old shot counter going. All right, there we go. Okay, so um, this painting, what we want to do first is I'm going to do a little bit of sketching in. Okay, um... A little sketching, kind of want to draw where my buffalo's at. A little bit of where my uh, turkey warrior is at. Um, so what I like to do there is find the, the, the buffalo is just a little left of the center. If this is the center of my painting, center of my canvas, I'm going to move it over just a little bit. And I'm going to put this kind of right in the middle. This is kind of what takes up about, I don't know, a third of the canvas probably. Maybe, maybe a little more than a third even. Okay, so... You know, for me, it's like, you know, kind of like a hand, a tall and hand is kind of enough, kind of how I measure that. Okay, but maybe you have a different size hand than me, so I don't know if that's a good one. But basically, right above about halfway up is where I'm going to put the top of this head. I'm just going to draw a little line here, all right? And then I'm going to kind of make a little, it's not just like an oval or a square or a rectangle. It's kind of got a little, kind of goes out there a little bit on the side, on the, in the middle. Okay, and there's kind of the, just a, a, a general shape for the head. And I left myself a little bit of space. I might actually move this down a little bit. All right, this is why I kind of have the Sharpie, because I'm going to draw. We're going to paint over a lot of this. Okay, there's there's that head. Okay, now let's do another little, it's going to be another little hump there behind the neck, right? All right, another hump. Let's do another hump right here. This is going to be kind of where the, the old turkey is going to be sitting. Right, so I'm gonna make a little hump there. I'm gonna do another hump here that kind of goes back. This one's gonna kind of go off the back, okay? So that's kind of its whole little back section there. There's the, there's all that, all right? One thing I might do is gonna be drawing where the eyes are gonna be. So the eyes are about, about the middle of the head, maybe just barely above the middle, but right about the middle. Okay, this one over here on the left is just gonna be a little small, and this one over here is gonna be pretty far over to the right. The one on the left is going to be very close to touching the side of the head. The one over on the right should have some space before, the, before it touches the edge, okay? 
So there should definitely be a little bit more space on the right side from the eye to the side of the head than on the left side. Le the left side, the eye should be almost touching the, the left side of the head. Okay, down here, let's give us a good amount of space. Let's do ourselves a little kind of an oval shape. You know, and then let's add another little, just a little skinny, little bottom lip there, okay? And yeah, something like that. There we go. Okay, close enough. All right, we could move that down a little bit, perhaps. I don't know. I think it's fine. Okay, now let's draw in kind of the big shapes for our turkey. Let's do a big hump here. This is going to be our turkey. And then we can make a little, kind of bring that circle around there. Okay, there's that. Let's draw a big, let's draw a little turkey tail. All right, I'm gonna draw a little line here. It's gonna be kind of the front, a little chest here. All right, now we're gonna do ourselves a little, a little turkey head. I might have his, his head a little kind of sticking up there. One of these days. Oh. I'm gonna wait to put the old neck scrotum in here. I'll put that in later. Um, okay, okay. Uh, you know, there'll be a little, maybe I'll do a line like this. We're going to paint over all this though, so I'm not really going to put too much detail. What I might do a little bit of that, just kind of get the vague idea where the bottom of the legs are. Okay. Then we'll have, you know, maybe a little arm here and his little pitchfork. Okay. There we go. So that's everything drawn in. Now, you know, one thing I might do, I might draw in, you know, maybe with a Sharpie, I might put in some of these lines. Need somebody. Oh, I didn't draw on the horns, but the horns should be just right above where the eyes are. Here we go. I'm just going to kind of roughly trace in some of these lines. Tell the world. Just so I can kind of see some of those through there. Okay. Okay, that's enough. We've got it drawn in good enough. Let's take a shot. We did it. Ah. Okay, let's start with the um, sky, and we'll start working our way forward, okay? So what I like to do is kind of start with the background and work your way forward, okay? So let's take some flat paint. That's Aaliyah. Okay, let's get some flat. And let's get some of our raw sienna, some of that tan color here. Let's get some yellow. And let's get a little bit of blue on here, too. You don't need much blue for this paint. It's a little tough. All right, let's take our big brush out of our water cup, tap it off. All right, tap that. Give it a little tap there, okay? Get some of that water. We don't need it sopping wet. Um, but uh, let's go ahead and take our white paint. Mix a bunch of white. Take a little bit of um, your raw sienna. Something like that. I want it very, very light, almost like a cream color. And let's take a little bit of yellow in there. And then just lots of white. We'll just be very, very light. No matter what, you're going to need more white. No matter what you add. How little of the colors you add. Just automatically changes all the white up. You know, whatever. Let's take this light cream color and let's start filling this in. I'm going to go around the... We're, we're doing the sky first, okay? Let's do this sky. Get all this in. Now, it's okay if it's a little messy. Get some of those pencil lines mixing in. It's fine. Because uh, the sky can be a little messy, a little dirty. Got a dirty sky. Okay, we're going to take that all the way over. Fill in this background here. Work our way over. Um, yeah, and um, you know, here in a second, let's go ahead and put up a trivia question. Anybody wants to win a free painting? Today's trivia question is: What is the best Thanksgiving food? Okay, we've got A stuffing, got B rolls, uh, C mashed potatoes, D uh, I don't celebrate the genocide of Native Americans. Uh, we've got E green bean casserole. Uh, F, uh, yams, G, Skittles, H, corn. All right. 
So those are the uh, those are your options for the trivia question. Give it a guess now. Think long and hard about this, okay? Because remember, it's just purely what I pick as the best. So you know, if you want to Google this and you know look up a bunch of crap that doesn't matter, take it very seriously. That's my advice to you. Take it really, really seriously. Because I'm definitely not just gonna pick one at the end. I uh, this is very scientific. What I've the answer to this, okay? Okay, so we've got the yellow sky in there, that light, light yellow, almost like a cream color, okay? And then let's say uh, we're gonna mix up some some green, okay? Okay, uh, we got yams and we got rolls so far, okay? Now we want to mix blue and yellow here to make ourselves green. Let's let's make a very light green, meaning lots of yellow, lots of yellow, and let's take some more white. Actually, I'm just gonna mix it in with some of this. Ooh, there we go. We want a very like kind of pale green, pale, light lime green kind of color. Okay, so there we go. That's a pretty light green, pretty pale kind of a you know pale pastel kind of green. There we go. Okay. Um. Uh. Happy Thanksgiving, Cherry. Okay. Let's go ahead and take this. I'm just gonna start brushing this in. Be real loose with it. Okay. I like to get this kind of rough texture. This is kind of a, um, you know, this is like your background. It's kind of a, a uh, impression of, of a background. So don't be real specific with anything. I'm just going to kind of brush this around. Oh, ah, ooh. And I could take this and kind of put some little hints of the green coming up here. I'm just kind of playing with it. Just kind of let your green and yellow mix. Don't fight it. Just, just let it happen. All right, boom, 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 boom. Ooh, that's a little greens up here. Why not? Why not? Oh, wow. Okay, but not too much. Just kind of spread it around, okay? Let's pick our brush. Let's wash it out. Let's take another shot, too. Um, so, yeah, we've got um, some trivia guesses here. All right. Um, went to my girlfriend's for Thanksgiving last year, and they didn't have mashed potatoes, and I couldn't believe it. I was aghast. Okay, we've got our background in now. What we want to do next is I'm just going to paint in the big colors on our bison. Our bison, buffalo, whatever you call it. Okay, let's uh, let's start that next. We're going to need some browns, a little bit of our tan, some white. Oh, I should I almost forgot my shot counter. Okay, um, let's take uh, some white. Let's take some black. All right, let's take some burnt umber. Let's take some raw sienna. Okay, let's start with these colors. Let's take our big brush and wash it out. Okay, we don't want green. We don't want any green in our, in our bison. We want this to be nice and clean for our brown bison, okay? Okay, let's take, let's take our, our uh, Raw umber, burnt umber, whatever kind of umber it is. That's your brown color. Take the brown color, stir our water in there, get that mixing in. Let's get a little bit of this sienna in there, that raw sienna. Ooh, yeah. A little peanut butter and chocolate mixing up there. And then, you know, let's take a little bit of soy sauce here. Take some of that soy sauce, mix that in with your chocolate and your uh, caramel or your peanut butter, whatever works for you. And I'm going to take a little bit of white. I mean mayo, sorry, mayo. So we got mayo, soy sauce, uh, chocolate, peanut butter. And that sounds really good, okay? That should be something we should eat at Thanksgiving. Okay, let's take this, let's start filling this in. All right, so let's just, I mixed up a lot because we're gonna fill in nice big fat sections here. All right, let's fill that in. All right, fill this uh, sucker in. All right, so let's just get that solid up there. It could be rough, actually, because, you know, it's bison fur, okay? I should probably not go over my turkey as much as I can. Okay, there's that. Now, let's take, um, let me take some of this raw sand off this plate because I need more. Okay, let's take that, mix that in here with this brown. And, you know, maybe this section will be a little bit more, more, uh, peanut buttery. I'll take a little bit more of my mayo, a little white here, kind of lighten that up. 
Okay, now this next section will be a little bit more of this color. Oh, yeah. There we go. Now we've got, now we can kind of see a little bit, uh, you know, a little bit of separation. You can kind of see two different layers there, two different planes, two different little uh, colors of this bison. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, now I'm gonna paint over this horn. I'm not gonna paint over the head, but I'm gonna go ahead and paint all this in. Okay, now let's take a shot. Uh, actually, okay, I'll, I'll wait just a second to take a shot. Let's take my brown and some black. Mix that black and brown together. We'll just be the kind of the darkest color so far. We'll just be a little darker than the rest. Okay, now once you got this darker color, go ahead and fill in your your head here. Oh, excuse me. I'm trying not to go over the eyes, just or leave my eyes a little bit so you at least can kind of see where the eyes were. Okay, and I might go around the nose too, but try to fill that in. Got a little bump there where the eyes are. All right, so I kind of know that's about where my, it's not perfectly, you know, traced out, but I can see that's kind of where the nose is. All right, all right, there we go. All right, here we go. Okay, and these are just the first layers on the old bison here. We're just kind of blocking in the colors right now. Looks pretty creepy right now, not gonna lie. Okay, let's take some black paint. And I'm gonna take some of this black paint. I'm gonna go right around the top of the head here in this little hump here. I forgot to put this one in before I did the head. Let's love a little patch of fur, a little, little bump around the head, a little neck, I guess. I guess it's the neck. Okay, um, let's see. Good enough for now, right? Okay. Well, maybe I'll take... All right, Lacey, you going to take a shot? Yeah. All right, Lacey's coming in to take a shot. <laughs> it's Lacey's birth. Well, it's not your birthday. Something like that. Can you come over here? <laughs> you come over here. Come right here. All right, cheers. We're all going to happy birthday to Lacey. <laughs> happy 24th birthday, Lacey. <laughs> Lacey wanted to take a shot, so <laughs> there we go. Okay, let's see. We've got our bison in, kind of. Looks pretty weird right now, let's be honest. Um, okay, so we've got that in. Let's blow dry a little bit, then we'll put our turkey on. Okay, so these are all just the first layers, kind of getting things blocked in. And once we get everything blocked in, then we'll go back and add some more of the details. It'll all start coming together. Yeah, now the head shape's a little different, but, you know. Let's just get that a little dried here. Okay, so next we're going to do the turkey. We're going to work our way from the back forward. So we'll start with the, the big tail. And we're going to do the arm and the little pitchfork weapon that he has. 
Um, and then we'll kind of do the body and then the head, all that. That's drying pretty fast. It's Lacey's, uh, Lacey's birthday was last Thursday. But we're celebrating it tonight because she was out of town on her birthday. And she doesn't know it, but I got her a really awesome, badass uh, cold brew coffee maker. Because she's been wanting a coffee maker. Hope she's not listening. Hopefully I didn't just ruin a surprise. Okay, let's take our uh, brush. We're going to switch to my small brush, but I'm also going to um, get a new plate here. Get some white, some black, kind of about, well, I could just probably use the same colors. Let's use these same colors here for the most part. Maybe a little bit more brown plate. Um, okay, let's take our small flat brush. And yeah, we'll keep going here. So let's, let's mix up a gray. White and black. It's kind of a nice light gray. Nothing crazy. And there we go. Thank you, Georgian. Hope you have a good Thanksgiving too. Georgian, you know the story of uh, Turkey, uh, Turkey Hannes, Turkey, uh, Turk Turkey This is a picture of Turkey Hannes. Okay, the the. Uh, oh wait, I don't. I mixed up gray, but that's for the turkey body. Let's not do the turkey body yet. Let's do the. Um, let's do the. Um, the tail feathers. Let's get a little bit of red too. A little bit of red. Okay. Let's take our red, mix that in with some of these browns. Just give ourselves a little bit of different shade of brown. It's not all the same. Um, okay. So the story of Turkahannis. Um he united the Native Americans and pilgrims, as we all know, which is why we devour turkeys on Thanksgiving. So, this is, uh, let's do a little bit of white. Let's add some white in there so it's a little lighter. Maybe a lot of white. There we go. Yeah, that's, that'll be better. There we go. Okay. I like to kind of pull them straight down towards the middle. Uh, that's kind of the shape of the feathers. So it kind of, uh, I kind of killed two birds with one stone there. Killed two turkeys with one stone. Oh, excuse me. I kind of maybe outline it first, then I kind of pull towards the middle. And then all the little wings there are going towards the middle. Okay. Okay, um, now let's get, uh, maybe let's do the same thing here. Let's paint in a little. Well, before we paint in this top part, I've kind of got the wing folded like like so, gripping this little thing there. Let's first just drag right here and paint the bottom part of this hand. Okay, now, got that in. Let's take a little bit of the brown. Ooh, brown. And I'm just gonna kind of randomly put some little, uh, hey, maybe we'll do this right here. You know, a little, a little bit of that. Let's take uh, a little bit of peanut butter here. Let's do some peanut butter going here. Maybe let's take some mayonnaise. Let's put some mayonnaise here. But I'm just kind of going these little arches, okay? I'm just kind of going across it. Let's take some more mayonnaise and put that along the top. Peyton mayonnaise. Alright. Let me put some on the little hand here too. Hey, it kind of looks like little fingies. In my heart. Oh, Drew, he's made a little 
too much there. But you get the idea. We're starting to add in some colors here. All right, let's take some of this red and brown. I'm trying to get any white mixed in. Let's get a little darker reddish brown here. And here we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, such great colors. Okay. Maybe put a little bit here. Okay, we got that started. <clears throat> got that crap going. Okay, let's do um, a shot. And then let's also do a little pitchfork thing there. Lacey? Okay, hopefully she didn't hear me. Hopefully she didn't hear me tell her to say what my birthday present was. Okay, uh, let's see here. I'm going to take a shot. Okay, let's take some gray paint. I've still got my same medium flat brush. Now let's go back to this gray that I have mixed up. Now, now we're ready for the gray paint. Okay. Okay, uh, now let's go ahead and paint this in. Now I might go, might some of this brown might mix in you can take a minute to dry that if you want but I know this paint's gonna take a minute anyway so I'm trying to go through it fast I'm gonna kind of uh this top part of the hump I might not, I'm trying not to go over but down here I do want to go over my uh, bison here so let's go ahead and do there's a little leg kind of thingy there He's kind of kind of wrapping around the top part of the bison that he's sitting on. Okay. Let's do another little little butt section here. There's gonna be another little gray butt section there. Okay. Wash your brush. Okay, there'll be a lot of blow drying on this paint. I'm just letting you know. Okay, so. We're going to dry this, put our little pitchfork in there, put the wing on top of it. Uh, let's see, by then we should have a little, little bit drier. We can do the, oh, I know what we should do right now. Paint the little, little white part for a leg. A little turkey leg. Okay, but this turkey leg isn't being eaten. It's in a stirrup on a saddle, riding a big old stinking bison. Go flat paint. Okay, let's take some white paint. Let's paint in maybe where our little leg's gonna be there. There's a little leg. You can draw this in first if you want. Okay, there's a little leg. Now it's just white for now. Again, we're gonna go back. Once that dries, we'll paint over it with the color that's uh well you wanna paint it white. If not, it's not gonna show up very well on top of the brown, so. We're like not even halfway through this. This painting's gonna take forever, probably. But it'll probably be one of the better looking ones. Okay, that's pretty dry. Now, let's take our brush, our small flat brush. Okay, and let's get that. We're gonna get white paint back on there. Okay, get that brush, stir your water in there, get your brush all mixed in with your flat paint. Now again, I wanna make some real skinny lines here, okay? So after I get my brush stirred in, my water stirred in, there's lots of paint on my brush. I'll take my brush, maybe scrape it off on the old side there. All right, take it, lay it down, pull it through, flip it over, pull it through. Get my brush nice and flat. Okay, then we can kind of see how that's a little skinny right there, a little skinny brush. And I'm going to drag this as little pressure as possible to make it nice and skinny. Okay. And now that sky is very light, so it's hard to see. Uh, but when this dries, we'll go back with some black and we'll put, you know, some black on here to make it so you can see. Okay, I'm going to put a little 
line across there and enough two little prongs. Okay, now we've got our our, our Turkahannis' weapon. Okay, that he uses to uh, bring cultures together. Okay. Turkahannis the Great, uh, bringing cultures together for centuries. Okay, let's go back. Let's get some of this. Let's get some of this paint here. And let's put, let's go ahead and keep going on top of our wing. Okay, now this is this part of this wing. There we go. All right, and then we're gonna do the same thing. We'll get some of these browns. Okay, maybe we'll take some peanut butters. All right, ooh, let's take some flat. A little white on there. All right, there's that wing, okay? So now we've got, ooh, let's take some white right here. Kind of show where the top of that wing is. So now we've kind of got a little line. You can kind of see there's a wing folded over right here. And then you can see the, you can see that go there and then a little poking out right there. Okay, let's go back to the gray. Okay, so let's paint the gray. Oh, look, we still got brown in there. You know, this is probably a good spot to wipe your brush off with your paper towel. Just wipe that off. Some of the brown out of that. My paintbrush is browned out. Okay, let's get some more gray here. And let's fill this in gray. Go over where the wing is here. Okay, so it's all filled in gray. Okay, what next? What next? You know, maybe a shot next. Let's take, go ahead and take ourselves a nice shot of whiskey. Okay, that bottle's empty. Alright, next bottle here. This painting's gonna take forever. Okay, let's take our brush here. Let's wash it out. I had gray on it last and brown before that. Let's just wash the crap out. You know what? Let's do our small round brush. I haven't used it yet. It's nice and clean. I'm gonna take a little scoop of my blue paint. Now mix that in with a lot of white. Okay, tons of white. So it's a very light blue, okay? And then now we're gonna get in more white. Because the blue's going to take over, and it's going to be too blue still, no matter how much white. And here we go. We're starting to get a little lighter. Now I've got the super light blue. Oh, kind of see it there. Okay, let's take our light blue here. Let's make our turkey neck. Yeah, maybe it's a little no, no, it's too light. Maybe it's Here's our turkey neck and our turkey head. Now, the top of the head, I like to make that a little lighter. So let's get some of that light, light, light blue and the white. A lot of that white mixed in. <laughs> okay, there we go. Oh, it's a little lighter there. I like that. Now, it's a little hard to see at home. This little white blob here that's on the tail is really close to that light blue. But, uh, you know, we will define that later okay all right let's go back to our small flat brush <clears throat> and we're gonna go back to where our gray is and we're gonna take some black here mix a bunch of black in with our gray um, and we're gonna start adding some little stripies on our our gray body of our turkey um, okay again want to win a free painting here's today's trivia question uh, what is uh, today's, uh, what is the best uh, Thanksgiving food, okay? Is it A, um, stuffing, B, rolls, C, mashed potatoes, D, I don't celebrate the genocide of Native Americans, E, green bean casserole, F, yams, G, Skittles, or H, corn, okay? Those are your, those are your uh, uh, options for your trivia question. So take a guess. Okay, let's do this. Now, our turkey kind of has these little, little black lines. So I just kind of like, I'm 
I'm just brushing down vertical lines here, and I'm just going across all the gray spots, okay? I'm kind of doing it by the two halves, you know? Okay, back here, let's do the same thing, okay? This little butt part here, let's go ahead and get that in. Okay, we've almost got kind of the first base layers of most everything. Finally. Finally, am I right? Jeez Louise. Okay, maybe now we can move on to the buffalo head here. And what I want to do here is I want to take my big brush again. And it's still got my brown color on it. Let's take a shot, though. Pretty pink. Pretty pink. Okay, let's take another shot. Ugh. Okay, um, let's see here. Let's take, oh, hey, what's up, Mikey? What's up, everybody? Okay, oh, I should count, see, I keep forgetting to count my shots. Um, Mikey, how you doing, man? Today I'm painting the great Turkahontas, which, um, was the brought the Native Americans and pilgrims together as we all know the great Turkahontas uh, riding his buffalo with his giant fork in hand which is why we celebrate devouring turkeys to this day you know this you know all this we're painting the great Turkahontas okay sub button haven't figured out sub buttons I've gotten um well, I could be an affiliate, whatever that is. Okay, let's go ahead and let's start on the head here. Let's take some of this dark brown. I mix black and brown together there. And we're going to go ahead and put this in. Let's darken up maybe this right side of the head. And also, let's make this a little more rectangular. What is this feeling? Where does it come from? Figure it out, cuz maybe I will. It does look really creepy right now. Till we get the, till we get the, <laughs> it does look really weird right now. Till we get the, that those features come on last, okay? Um, okay, let's do that. Let's put a little shading going down the back of the, this next part of the, a little bias. I'm just gonna take some of this and kind of spread this right, maybe underneath the head. Okay, now let's maybe put a little bit back here, especially down here in the bottom. Kind of got that's like where his belly would be, you know, it's kind of the top of the back and the belly's kind of dropping down there, so darken that up a little bit. Okay, so, you know, look. We kind of got a little shading going on, so we got the dark colors. All right, let's we'll, let's take a little bit of white, and we'll put some light colors first. Let's take a shot. Hey guys, if you want to win a free painting, I have way too many paintings. Please take a free painting. Today's trivia question is: What's the best Thanksgiving food? Is it A. Stuffing, B. Rolls, uh, C. Mashed potatoes, D. I don't celebrate the genocide of Native Americans. E, green bean casserole, F, uh, yams, G, skittles, or H, corn, okay? Those are your trivia question answers. Uh, answer uh, correctly to the subjective trivia question. Whoever wins, give you a free painting. And cheers. Cassava? What? Cassava. Casserole? C, mashed potatoes. Getting a lot of C's. Good guesses. Okay, uh, we'll come back to that. Let's take some white paint here, mix it with our uh, brown. We'll make ourselves a nice lot brown. What are y'all been up to, huh? Anything new in your worlds? You mean uh, my phone's in the other room? Okay, wait. What was I doing? Okay, brown, 
That's also known as burnt umber. Okay, we'll take some burnt umber and some my white. All right, let's mix some burnt umber and white together. Get this kind of light brown. Now I'm gonna do the same thing in reverse. I'm gonna put uh, some of my light colors in here. Here we go. Let's put some of that light color in here. Ooh, there's his fat forehead there. You know. I also want to take a little bit of this and put it kind of like above the eyes and below the eyes. Just a little, little bit of that going on. All right, and maybe, you know, maybe put a little here. We don't want to put too much on the bottom half of the head. We're going to leave that. Okay, then maybe up here we could put a little bit of light. I kind of go back over some of these. You know, maybe right here, this butt here. We want to cover up the turkey butt there. All right, then we kind of put some of that. Okay, there we go. Um, yeah, I know a Lacey Scoggins. It's her birthday. We're celebrating her birthday. Um, oh, you're just doing the whole Venmo thing. Yeah, it's my girlfriend. I'm like, yeah, do you know Lacey Scoggins? <laughs> did I count that last shot? I don't think I did. I'm bad at counting my shots. Okay, so we got this far. Um, this is a long pain. This one takes forever. I'm going to take another shot. Okay, cheers, everybody. If anybody wants to win a free painting. got our creepy um, buffalo head right here. Okay, now let's start putting in some of the details. Before I put the details in, though, let's do, um, let's take our small, um, oh, thank you, Jacrita, the real Jacrita. Thank you. You're awesome. Didn't have to do that. Okay, and I'm washing my brush out real good here first. Oh, excuse me. Okay, let's go back to white. Ugh, white and um, and let's take a little bit of our raw sienna and our yellow again. So here's my plate. I had some raw sienna and some yellow. Put a little poopy of some white there. Let's get that. Let's get a bunch of white and then let's get um, let's get uh, a little bit of sienna here. And let's mix a lot of white with our sienna. So it's kind of a very light cream color. If you can see that. Uh, very much white, little bit of the little bit of the raw sienna. What I want to do now is right above where the eyes are, just like a little catty corner from there. There we go. Now, it's probably a good idea to take your chalk and draw this in. I'm too drunk to remember that. Here we go. Right, you could do that. Do the same thing out here. Alright, so. Let's go ahead and paint in our, our, our horns. She used to be a dreamer. Okay. Now that brown's still a little wet, so it's mixing in more than I wanted to. Okay, over here, let's do the same thing. Now, if you paint over, you go inside the head. Just go ahead and go inside the head, and then let it dry and take some brown. Just paint over, back over that. Can't sing alone. All right. That brown brown paint's still a little wet. I'm not gonna cover totally. Whatever. We'll leave it like that. Okay. So, uh, let's see. What's next? What's next? What's next? Um, let's go back up into our turkey. Probably take another shot first, and let's do our turkey. Okay. Uh, oh, did you get that one? Good, good, good. Yeah, you're the one. I was actually thinking about that today because I added a bunch of paintings in my giveaway paintings. 
and I saw the two birds, and I was wondering, I'm like, I know I sent one of those. I thought, hope I deleted the right one, I because I still have one, another one on my giveaway painting. I don't know if I have two or if I just never deleted it. I think I probably just have two of them. Anyway, glad you liked that painting, though. Congra uh, congr oh, I should pour a shot. So... Yeah, so, um... I got a bunch of giveaway paint. I probably give out a few today, because I need to get rid of some. Ah. Okay, so right now, um... We're adding in our big block colors, then we're going to add our blacks and our whites to kind of outline things and make it more clear, but for now, we've got to add in a couple more things. Let's take, um... I've been making the saddle kind of a yellowish and a raw sienna color here. This peanut butter, my peanut butter and my mustard. Peanut butter and mustard, mix those two together. And um, let's add some white. A little bit of white. Peanut butter and mustard, those are pretty good color here. Uh, basically, if you have everything the exact same color, you can't tell what's different there. So you gotta make some things a different color so you can see them. So let's go ahead and do this. Let's draw a little line. I'm going to outline basically the top part of that hump, right? Okay, and then this is going to go down and kind of wrap around that leg. Then I put a little line here, like that little bump like that. Another little bump like that. Okay, that's the saddle, right? I'm not a cowboy, but I'm pretty sure there's a saddle and there's this little thing on top. I don't know what it is, but it always seems to be there. So it's like the thing you hold on to. When you're riding, is this a good image of me doing this? But isn't there like a saddle when you ride a horse and there's a little thing in the middle that sticks up? I don't know if there is, but I feel like I've seen it in cartoons or something, so I'm putting it in. Um, okay, now next let's do a little line here. This is going to be a little uh, stirrup. Stirrup. Okay. Uh, I like my shows to be educational. Okay, and I feel like that. Okay, so then there's a little saddle that he's sitting in. Okay, and there's also, we need to put a little, you know, a little line going down. Okay, that's going to be like the little saddle that wraps around it. You know what else is good to do that I didn't do in the original? Let's take a little baby brush, get some of the same color. And then, you know, let's do this. Let's put, um, what if we put a little lasso sitting on the, on the back, right? I thought this would be cool. I'm going to wing it. It might look terrible, but let's, you know, let's go for it, right? But shouldn't it be up here? And I'm not gonna do it. Well, if I do it, I'm gonna mess it up. Okay. Okay, there's a saddle. What else do we need? I need to put the red bandana, it's bait Rambo hat on, because Turkahannis always had the little red Rambo bandana on. As we all know from our history books about Turkahannis. Like I said earlier, this is Turkahannis, the turkey riding the bison that brought the Native Americans and pilgrims together. As we all know, we've all read this story a thousand times in our history books. Okay, let's put a little boink there, a little line across the head there. And let's put another one, kind of outline the top of that. Boom, boom, boom. This might be another space you want to draw this in with your chalk first. Put a little bump there. Now essentially what I do here to do a little bandana waving in the wind is you go one over, over. Lacey, you want to take another shot? We'll line over, then we make another line. I just drag that down. All right. And then over. Okay, there's a the little, there's the little bandana, okay? Let's go ahead and put the chin scrotum on now. Here we go, chin scrotum right there. Okay. Now, we've basically got all of our big colors in. Now we can take some white and some black and outline. We we'll start bringing this together, okay? But you know, we should probably take a shot. Oh gosh, I know I'm not counting all my shots. I feel wasted. Um, let's see. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. I'm gonna count my shot this time. 
Okay, I've had at least seven shots. Okay. Okay, let's blow dry for a minute. Let me get my bearings together and think about what I have to paint next. Uh, let's see what's been happening this week. Oh my god, you guys watch what we do in the shadows? That show's hilarious. I finally watched all, all the whole thing. Watched season three. Lacey taking a shot? Lacey's gonna come take a shot. Um, it's her birthday. Well, her birthday was Thursday, but we're celebrating it today. Do you have your shot glass? Happy birthday! <laughs> okay. Another shot. That should be dry by now. Okay, again, trivia question. Here we go. Okay, now, now we get to do start putting the details in. Okay, let's take white paint and black paint. We'll start with our black paint and um, start putting in a lot of the um, the detail parts. Look how crazy that is. Ooh, it's like a real painting where there's like a lot of colors you mix and layers. Let's take some black paint on a new plate and let's take our medium flat brush and wash it out if you want to win a free painting answer the trivia question correctly in the comments i'll send you a free painting of your choice uh heads up you do have to give me an address for me this guy watched last time some random guys tuned in he's like he's like guess something and i was like congratulations you win because you're the only person that guessed and then he's like how do i know this isn't a scam and i'm like you don't, dude. Like, I mean, if you don't give me an address, I get it. But you give me any address, and I will mail a painting to that address. You can give me the Wendy's down the street from you. But I totally get it. He's like, how do I... I, don't, I it's like, there's nothing I can tell you, dude. You don't know this isn't a scam. So, I totally... It's, I'm like, it's fine. You don't have to take a painting. But, thank you for watching. So. But the reality is, I have like a thousand paintings in my just sitting up here that it's taking over my house my life i need to get rid of them uh so you're doing me a favor if i send you a painting uh wiley accounting says b b was what rolls is that right the rolls are so good right i'm surprised i would just guess corn and if you'll notice it's corn the band okay which are at every thanksgiving i think right is that just my family um there's also skittles skittles are great um thanksgiving food okay so what i'm gonna do is kind of start in the back so let's start with the things in the back so the tail is one of the things furthest in the back we'll start there we'll do some little lines that are basically going down towards the center of the turkey butt boom 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 Right, and I'm trying not to go over the front parts of the turkey, right? So now we're starting to see, okay, there's the tail. There's the tail feathers. Now, here, we can paint in, ooh, there's a line that shows where. There's my turkey hand. Okay, now the turkey hand, you can see, is kind of folded over. Okay, let's do another one here. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, now here's the other thing we'll do. We're gonna take this black. We're gonna outline our little turkey. Our turkey spear, our turkey fork. Okay? I recommend just going for it on this. Just take your, just drag it quickly, lightly, and whatever happens, friggin' happens, just go for it. Okay, there's the turkey, uh, there's the turkey fork that Turkahannis uses to enforce his will upon cultures to get them to come together sacrifice their lands for the greater good of white people I think I think that's what happened at Plymouth Rock if the American school system has taught me anything it's that Turkahannis the renegade turkey 
brought two cultures together in favor of the white man. I'm pretty sure that's what happened. Ooh, there you go. Give the old Turkahannis his patented angry eyes. Okay, there we go. Now, I'm not going to put much black on the head, on the, the uh, bandana. Maybe, maybe I should put a little bit there. Okay, okay, there we go, okay. Now, let's outline the little turkey body here. Remember, there's this little saddle part here, so I don't want to go over that. Let's go kind of do this, a little bit of that, a little bit of this. Boom. Yeah, death. Okay, there's the turkey body. I'm just gonna get, I'm just gonna get outline happy here, and just start outline and stuff. All right, there's one. Uh, oh, excuse me. Now we'll go back and do the foot here in a little bit. Okay, but let's leave that alone for now. Let's take a little line here. Outline that a little bit. Okay, now the horns are fun. Let's outline the horns. Okay, let's take a little bit of horns. Let's take a little bit of black here. And a little bit of water too. Black gets really thick and it's hard to make some clean thin lines. So add lots of water to that. Okay, let's thin that out. Add some water to that. Make it nice and thin and flowy, okay? Okay, then we're gonna take that, we're gonna go wow, wow. Okay, sound effects help, okay? Sound effects help your painting. Okay, there's a horn. Let's outline this horn. I like that one line that kind of goes through the middle, kind of cuts in a little bit. Oh, crap, that was kind of a crappy line. But as Bob Ross says, there's no such thing as uh, mistakes. There's just happy little fuck ups, you know? You just fuck shit up, happy little fuck up, you know? Oh, it's a happy fuck up right there. That's what Bob Ross always said. He was a vulgar guy. Okay, let's take some black. Uh, let's paint the eyeballs in. So more black. Now, this is probably a good spot, honestly, for probably for your round brush. So I'm gonna take my small round brush. Let's get some of this black on here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna paint some little uh, kind of like ovals, but maybe like diamonds. Like I like to have them kind of pointed a little bit. All right, but they're right in that little boink there where we got the light colors. Oh, he's crying. There's a little. You want to make sure your water is really mixed in with your paint. First, you get those drips like that, and it looks like your, your, um, uh, that one kind of looked like my, uh, buffalo bison was, this mascara was running from crying. But that's not what was happening. Happening. This is a happy buffalo who's a warrior buffalo for Turkahannis, so of course that's not true. He's not crying. He's super happy. He's Turkahannis, the mighty buffalo. Okay, let's take some gray here. I take some white, mix it with my black, make some gray here. Let's take a shot too, huh? All right, we mixed up some gray. Let's take a shot. Cheers. No, the buffalo didn't get in a fight. No, he's just been crying. The buffalo's got a lot on his mind, okay? Okay, let's take our gray here and let's paint in our, our little buffalo nose, okay? So let's do a little paint over where we got. We're kind of like an oval. Maybe a little extra bump out on the left and right for the extra nostrils there, huh? There we go. Let's be a little more square. In that. Okay, let's make a little another little bump down here for its lip. Maybe bottom lip there. Okay. Something like that. Okay, let's go back to our little baby round brush. Our baby brush. Get
get some black paint and what we're gonna do is let's put a little boink a little black black spot there and then another little boink black spot there and let's put a little bit of that oh look it's a happy buffalo now on accident okay so we got that what's left here you know a couple things left okay number one thing left let's take a shot I think I definitely missed like counting like four shots so I feel like I've taken like 18 shots I've probably taken like 12 this is very similar to me personally it feels very similar to like when I take like 14 shots But hey, what do I know? What do I know? Okay, we got the double digits. That's my main goal. Okay, uh, you know, maybe I should make him not a smiling buffalo. But it's gonna be kinda hard to fix, but. You know, let's go ahead and just paint over that. Mm, now he's just a, mm, kind of a duck face. One of a somber, stoic buffalo, okay? Like a badass. Okay, let's take our little brush. I'll probably use my little brush for a lot of this last part. Let's take our little brush. Let's get some white paint on our little brush. And let's do this. Let's paint back on the little turkey toes. Boom. Look at that. There's a turkey's foot through that stirrup. Um, yeah, what else do we need? What else? Maybe we'll just play around a little bit. That's pretty good. You know, that's pretty good. I don't like that. Wish I hadn't done that. Oh, I wish I hadn't done that now. Hey, you know what? Uh, happy birthday to Turkahannas. Celebration of Thanksgiving. Uh, you know what I was thinking about? I got his little turkey arm here holding the pitchfork, but I don't have a little turkey arm over here. I should probably put a turkey arm in there. <laughs> okay, let's get some more of my little turkey arm colors. Paint a little thing in like that, you know? Maybe get a couple other colors real quick and. You know. Give us some other random colors there. Then we could take some of that black. He's got a little bit of an arm right there. Okay, that makes me feel better about myself okay let's take our brush now here's the key here's the key to making a nice animal eye, or any eye really but a really easy trick to this and make a little animal eye here's what you want to do take take your brush flip it around to the old plastic tip here so you got the old round into the brush take that just dip it into your white paint see I got white paint into my brush now the light is coming from like, you know, let's say it's coming from over here somewhere, somewhere in this range. The light is hitting this side, right? So the eyeball, here's the dot, here's the highlight. Boink. Okay, make sure you got paint in your brush, do it again. Come from this side, so we're gonna hit this corner of this one, doink. Boom. Kinda looks like he's looking up in wonder, like, hmm. But if you remember, this isn't the pupil of the eyes. It's just the highlight of where the sun or the light is hitting the eyeball. Okay, last thing we gotta do. Here's the last step. We're at the last step, finally. It's like one of the longest paintings of all time. It's like an hour. 
Actually, I'm surprised it didn't take longer. Okay, new plate. Let's take, um... Yeah, our pirate bird is... Our pirate bird... It's not a pirate bird, okay? It's Turkahanas. The historical figure that's in all history books. That brought two, um... Cultures together so the white man could take the land. Don't you know this story? Come on. I'm not going to go into it right now, okay? I'm not going to get triggered right now, okay? Turkahannas, look it up in any history book, okay? Uh, this is Tur Turkahannas. He's basically Rambo of the Rambo of Turkeys. All right. Um... I'm not going to get into this right now, okay? Because you're just trying to trigger me, okay? With your buzzwords. Okay, so let's take our big brush. Let's wash it out nice and good. Let's give it a nice washing. Let's take our brush and let's get some of this raw sienna. No, yeah. Raw sienna. Essentially, it's yellow ochre. Now what I like to do on this is take my brush, get it on there, kind of scrape some of it off, kind of drop. You don't even take a paper towel, dry it off, or like you know, wipe it off on your clothes, you know, or your face. Dry your brush off a little bit, and this is where I kind of like to go. Wow, 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 wow. Be real loose with it, like a dry brush effect. Uh. Uh, down here at the bottom, we're just gonna start. Uh, we're gonna start taking some of this. Okay, and we're going to start putting this in down here. Mm-hmm. All across the bottom, okay? This is like, you know, something. Maybe it's trying to go around the head so it looks like the head's poking through. But, you know, maybe make it a little stronger on the left side, you know? All right, something like so. Maybe a little bit cover up. A little too strong of a line right there. There we go. Um, I think that's pretty good. Okay, you know what? Maybe I want to take my little brush. Actually, I'm going to do one more thing. A little baby brush. Let's take a little white paint. Oh, shit. Let's just get some clean white paint. Um, let's get some clean white paint. Take a little baby brush. I want to do one more thing. I forgot to add a little bit of white lines there. Okay, white lines. Uh, okay, there we go. Look at that. We've got our perfectly historically accurate depiction of uh, Turkahannas, which was the warrior turkey that um, fought to uh, do all the stupid things I said today. Okay, let's take our little... Well, last thing you want to do is take your little tiny round brush and, you know, sign your initials. Go wow, 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 wow. Now it's a fancy painting. Once you sign it, you can sell it for millions of dollars. Okay, then the last thing you want to do is paint that bottom edge. Turn it over. I'll take that big brush you got. You know, I know you got a big brush. Take it. I'm going to take the... Um, you can paint whatever, you know. You can paint the edges whatever you want. Just make sure you paint the edge off, okay? Uh, let's, I'm going to take this peanut butter color. Also known as uh, raw sienna. There we go. There's the bottom edge painted now. If I hang it on the wall, my edges are painted. They look nice, classy as fuck on the wall, you know. And there we go. Um, so, yeah. Well, um, congratulations to, um, okay, so the correct answer was mashed potatoes. Um, I don't care what anyone thinks. Mashed potatoes are the fucking best thing ever. So, let's see, who guessed? So, here's today's. Yeah, here we go. Mashed potatoes was C. So, we got Mikey, Fox Trader. Anyone else guess C? Pumpkin roll. What's a pumpkin roll? It's stupid. It's a dumb thing to say. Okay, so I know at least uh, 
Mikey and the Fox Trader, congratulations. Any painting you want, give me some address to send this painting to and get it out of my apartment. I have too many, too many paintings. Um, uh, whoever guessed um, D, the real Jacreta, congratulations. That was the test. So you win too. Not really. I just need to give away as many paintings as I can. I have like 37 extra paintings that I don't need. They're taking up too much space. So, uh, congratulations. Hey, um, um, you know, have a good Thanksgiving. Okay, see your family, um, or don't, and have a bad Thanksgiving. But I would recommend good Thanksgiving. Um, but yeah, this is my Thanksgiving painting, everybody. Hope you like it. And um, have a good weekend. Remember to search paint. I'm gonna make. I have a TikTok coming. I'm going to make a TikTok. It's in the works. This is how stupid and old I am, but I'm, I'm working on it. Okay. Give me a name. Eleven. You get a painting too, bud. I'm gonna text you. You take one too. But uh, anyway, search paint. Joe. Follow me on stuff and like and sh and shit. And uh, and I love you all. Thank you for watching. Have a good Thanksgiving. I'll see you next Wednesday, okay? Uh, goodbye.